Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we want to welcome you here to our broadcast tonight as we have a doubleheader on tap tonight for Kaskaskia 
College basketball, the Blue Angels and the Blue Devils going to be tipping it off here tonight. We're going to start with the Blue Angels here as they are going to take on the Trailblazers of Vincennes University. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. First for the Lady Trailblazers, starting at one guard, a 5'8 freshman. Number four from Lafayette, Indiana is Daylin Thornton. At the other guard position is a 5'3 freshman. Where's number five from Indianapolis, Indiana, Sherelle Newsom. At a forward, a 5'10 sophomore from Zagorza, Zaragoza, Spain. Number 14, Elena Asnar. And at forward, a 5'8 sophomore. Number 24 from Deerwood, Maryland, Layla Grant. And at center, a 6'2 sophomore, number 15 from Tutopolis, Illinois, is Macy Michaels. The Lady Trailblazers are coached by Harry Meeks and assisted by Clyde Buck, and they come in with a record of 12 wins and seven losses. As now, let's take a look at our starting lineups for the Kaskaskia Blue Angels. They come in with a record of eight and six on the season, a two and two conference record. And let's take a look at their starting lineup. Starting at guard, a 5'8 sophomore from Indianapolis, Illinois, is Kyra Duncan. The other guard position, a 5'7 freshman from Indianapolis, Indiana, also is Carissa Johnson, wearing number 11. At forward, a 5'11 sophomore from Evansville, Indiana. Number 12, Jaya Hedgebeth. At guard, a 5'6 sophomore from Belleville East High School in Belleville, Illinois. Number 23 is Naya Ford, and at forward, 5'10 freshman from Hillsboro, Illinois, number 31, Nakia Harston. Blue Angels are coached by Jay Jenkins, and the tip is up, and we get underway. Vincent starts out with the basketball. Quickly, they move it down to Asnar, and she quickly puts it up and in 4-2 to take a quick 2-0 lead. Casey not wasting any time, quickly drive it down, the shot up and down. There by Hedgepith, that's up no good. They get the rebound in, the put back, this one goes up and tipped out of bounds, last touch by Kaskaskia. And it'll be Vincent's basketball. Blue Angels coming out, playing a little man-to-man -man defense. Newsom dribbles over to the left side, now she hands it off over to Grant. Grant on the dribble, top of the key, down the right side, loses a handle on it, but now gets it down over to Newsom on the baseline. Quickly trying to get it inside, and that one is taken away there by Hairston. Hairston gets it out to Johnson. Johnson on the point. Vincent's also in the man-to-man -man defense. Right side over to Duncan. Duncan trying to lob it inside, but nobody there. And that one goes out of bounds. Little miscommunication there by the Blue Angels. Newsom brings it up across half court. Crossover dribble now left side there over to Asnar. Asnar down on over to Thornton. Back up top to Newton. Now back over to Grant. Grant now back down to Thornton. Trying to get it inside to Michaels. Now look, but now they get it back over to Grant on the right wing. Now to Michaels. Michaels has some room. Dribbles over to the right elbow. Puts the shot up. That's a little too strong. Off the back of the iron. Tipped back out. And Van Sins with the rebound and the quick three. Put up by Newsom. No good. Another rebound underneath. Still battle. Loose ball. And finally, Ford comes away with it. Ford over to Johnson. Johnson taking it to the hole. Shot up. No good. But we're going to have a whistle and a foul. Foul is going to go against Vincennes. Daylin Thornton. Her first personal. Chris Johnson will go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. And that one's up and in to put the Blue Angels on the board here. Johnson averaging right around nine points a game and a 72% free throw shooter on the season. She puts them both in. We're tied. Full court pressure by the Blue Angels, but they break it. No problem for Vincennes. Quick shot up there by Asnar. Short off the rim. Here come the Blue Angels. Duncan trying to get a quick push up the floor and trying to pass it out to Johnson as a trailer, and she can't handle it, and it goes out of bounds. Vincennes with it, top of the key. Thornton with it. Over to Michaels, and Michaels with the little eight-footer from the left side. 
puts it in for two. Four to two is our score. Hairston with it underneath, and her shot up is blocked. Asnar now with it. Left side, quick three there by Newsom. No good, loose ball. Still loose on the floor, and finally there, picked up by Johnson of the Blue Angels. Johnson. Takes it over to the right wing and dribbles down, up and in. And we are tied at four. Thornton on the dribble. Working there against Hedspin. Loose ball there picked up by Newsom. Newsom trying to bounce pass into Michaels and it's too low and out of her reach and it goes out of bounds. Turnover on the Trailblazers. Blue Angels with the basketball. Nia Ford. She'll bring it across half court. She goes right side over to Duncan. Duncan on the dribble. Now left side over to Ford. Ford looking inside to Hedgepith. Hedgepith turnaround jumper from the free throw line. A little too hard, high off the back of the iron. And Thornton comes down with it. Thornton out to Newsom. Newsom for three from the left wing, and she connects on that one. Seven to four. Hedgepith with it on the left wing. Guarded there by Michaels. Hedspeth on the dribble over to the right elbow. Now bounce pass underneath to Harston. Harston shot up. No good. Got her own rebound. Goes back up, and this time she's going to draw the foul. Foul is going to go against number 15, Macy Michaels. That'll be her first personal. And Nakaya Harston will go to the free throw line. We got a couple free throw, a couple substitutions here. First one coming in is Peyton Wilderman. She'll come in for Carissa Johnson. Wilderman wearing number three, a 5'5 five five sophomore from Waltonville, Illinois. Harston connects on the first one. Waiting to check in. For the Blue Angels is Destiny Sanders. And Harston sinks them both. Seven to six, Sanders will come in. She's a 5'9 sophomore from Mobile, Alabama. Full court pressure by the Blue Angels. Vincennes with it, Asnar brings it up to the point. Right side now over to Newsom. Newsom on the dribble down to the right side. Passes it off over to Thornton. Thornton dribbles down. Little floater layup is up and in for two. Duncan at the point. Left side to Hedgepit. Trying to get underneath the Sanders. That's out of her reach. And out of bounds. A turnover on the Blue Angels. Once again, full court pressure by the Blue Angels. Thornton takes it all the way down to the baseline, kicks it out to Michaels. Michaels back up to Newsom for three. No good, long rebound picked up there by Sanders for the Blue Angels. Hedgepith will bring it across half court. Hedgepith looks down inside. Over to Kyra Duncan, and Duncan puts it up and in. Nice play there by the Blue Angels. Newsom quickly brings it up the court, down over to the right baseline. Now has an opening, drives the baseline and puts it up and in for two. Duncan at the point. She goes right side over to Wilderman. Wilderman up to Hedgepith. Hedgepith, 4-3, too hard off the back of the iron. Sanders with the rebound. Sanders works her way inside into paint and puts it up and in for two off the glass. Destiny Sanders. 11 to 10.
Vincennes with it. Now a bounce pass inside, taken away there by the Blue Angels. Up to Duncan. Duncan over to Ford. Back to Duncan, and they put it up and in. And the Blue Angels have their first lead of the game. 12 to 11. Here comes Thornton. Thornton on the right baseline. Working against Hedspeth, trying to get it underneath. Her pass underneath is deflected. Duncan takes it off the glass. Good for two. The steal. And coast to coast for the layup. 14 to 11. Newsom will now bring it up. Coach Jay Jenkins encouraging the ladies out there. D up. Right side over to Thornton. Thornton for three. That one's off the mark. And the rebound picked up there by Duncan. Duncan will hand it off to Ford. Ford working there against Asnar. And now we're going to have a whistle and a foul against Vincennes. Elena Asnar. Her first personal. Substitutions coming in for the Blue Angels. Checking in number four is Jalen Thomas. Number 11. Carissa Johnson checking back in and Cameron Peon checking in. And we got a media timeout. We're going to take it with them. We'll be back right after this message. And we're back here after the quick media timeout. Lob pass inside to Sanders. Her shot up, no good. Battle for the rebound, and we're going to have a whistle on the jump ball as Sanders and Grant tie it up. Possession arrow will favor the Blue Angels. Inbounds pass. Over to Thomas. Thomas now over to Johnson. Johnson to Ford. Now back up top over to Johnson. Johnson, right side over to Thomas. Thomas back out to Sanders, and Sanders right before the buzzer buries that one. Nothing but net. 16 to 11. Thornton with it. Over to Newsom. Newsom now down to Grant. Grant going to pop one for three from the left wing. No good. Destiny Sanders comes back with the rebound. Naya Ford comes up, takes it. Now Ford's going to push it up to Johnson. Johnson on the right wing, dribbles in, loses a handle on it. Turnover on the KC Blue Angels. Here come the trail, Lady Trailblazers. Grant with it on the baseline. Inside to Michaels. Michaels now back up over to Asnar, and Asnar puts it up and in for two. 16 to 13, and that ends about a, I believe, an eight point scoring run for the Blue Angels. Johnson dribbles in, gets it out over to Pierron. Pierron now back up top to Sanders. Sanders going to let one fly again, missed inside the arc. That one's no good. And the rebound, Vincennes. They push it up, and a long court pass tipped there by Nia Ford and knocked out of bounds. Substitution in the game, Shania Nunn checking in for Destiny Sanders, getting a big round of applause here as she comes out. Shania Nunn, a 5'11 sophomore from Belleville West High School out of Belleville, Illinois. Newsome with it. Left side over to Grant. Grant now back up top to Thornton. Thornton now right side over to Newton on the wing. Man-to-man -man defense. Now left side over to Asnar. Asnar back down to, Thor to Newsom. Or to Thornton. Thornton drives in, shot up. No good, and we're going to have a whistle. And a foul, and they're going to call that against Macy Michaels. That'll be her second personal for the Lady Trailblazers. And now coming into the game will be 
Number 11, Nina Blade, a six-foot sophomore from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And number three, Shanice Willis, a 5'7 guard freshman from Champaign, Illinois. Ford with it inside now to none. And they're going to say none uh, travels, turns it over. <laughs> and another substitution, Guadalupe Lopez, a 6'2 freshman from Oviedo, Oviedo, Spain. Checking into the game for the Trailblazers. And there, Layla Grant driving left baseline, puts it up off the glass, 16-15. Vincennes pulls within one. Now left side over to Pier to Pira. And a three-pointer. Naya Ford drops one through the net from three, 19-15. Newsom. Driving into the lane, traffic, shot deflected. Ford with it. Now left side, over to Johnson. Johnson shot up, no good, rattles out. And a quick rebound there, picked up by Willis. Willis now kicks it out, right side, over to Newsom. Newsom for three, and that one's good. Back-to-back -back three pointers here, 19-18. Johnson with it, brings it across half court. Dribbles over to the right side. Bounce pass there to Thomas. Thomas now back out to Johnson. Johnson for three, short off the iron. And long rebound picked up by Willis. Willis will get it out to Newsom. Newsom on the dribble, got to push it three seconds. The right side over to Grant. Grant shot off the mark. And the first quarter is going to come to an end. Blue Angels lead 19 to 18. We're going to take a quick break with them. We'll be back right after this message. back second quarter action blue angels with a one-point lead and the pass left side intended for willis tipped away there by jalen thomas vincent's will inbound over on the far sideline trinity harris into the game now five six freshman from elkhart indiana and now we got a whistle away from the basketball and that's going to go against 33 of the Blue Angels, and that's going to be Shania Nunn. Her first, and now we got another foul. Shania Nunn's going to pick up two quick ones. And that's going to send Trinity Harris to the free throw line. Harris makes the first one to tie it up. Second one rattles in and out, and no good. Cameron Pierron with the rebound, and the whistle and a foul against Vincennes, and that's going to go against Guadalupe Lopez. And uh, Nakia Harston checks back into the game for the Blue Angels.
Sams back out to Ford, back inside the Sams, in traffic in the paint, gets position and puts it up off the glass. Beautiful move there by Cassandra Sams. Harris brings it up across half court, now right side over to Blade. Blade loses a handle on it. Here come the Blue Angels. Quick bounce pass up over to Thomas. Thomas trying to get it left side over to Sams. And that one's tipped and knocked out of bounds. By Vincennes. Blue Angels will inbound underneath their own basketball. Nia Ford looking for the inbound pass. Now gets it up over to Harston. Harston now right side over to Johnson. Johnson lob pass inside, trying to get it in there to Cassandra Sams, and that's a, just out of her reach and goes out of bounds. 21-19. Harris at the top of the key, getting it inside to Lopez. Lopez, bouncer off the rim, no good, and a long rebound picked up by Jalen Thomas. Thomas. Brings it down to the right side. Now passes it off over to Johnson. Johnson dribbles in, loses a handle on it. And here comes Layla Grant. Grant has her pocket picked there by Nia Ford. Ford now quickly gets it up over to Johnson. Johnson trying to pass it out over to Thomas. And a bad pass, and it goes out of bounds. Substitutions into the game for the Blue Angels. Number 10, Kyra Duncan checking in. Number 12, Jaya Hedgepith, and number 35, Destiny Sanders all coming back into the game. Harris, right side over to Grant. Grant dribbling into the paint, loses the handle on it, pass deflected, quickly gets it up to Sam. Sam's on the dribble, has it knocked away on from behind, but picks it back up and now gets it back up over to Duncan. Duncan dribbles down right side of the lane, up off the glass, around the rim, no good. Sanders in there for the rebound and the put back for two. 23-19, Cassandra, or Destiny Sanders. With the big offensive board and put back for two. Grant dribbles into the paint. That one's blocked by Hedgepith. Hedgepith, pass up to Thomas, her layup, no good. Harris over to, to Grant, and they put it up and in as Vincennes wastes no time getting it up the court. Good fast break there by Harris and Grant. Hedgepith with it inside to Sanders. Sanders, they can't stop her inside. Turns around and puts that one up and in, 25-21. Trinity Harris going to pop from the top of the key for two. Several times she's come down and tried to drive it inside. This time she just pulls up and sinks one. Sanders underneath over to Sam. Sam's working. Goes up and that one's partially blocked there by Nina Blade. And it goes out of bounds. Substitution into the game. Daylin Thornton. Back in, and she'll take Layla Grant's position. Blue Angels to inbound underneath their own basket. Left side now, over to Dalen Thornton. Thornton to Duncan. Duncan into the paint. Under pressure, puts it up. She gets up, grimacing a little bit. Shakes it off, 27-23, a four-point lead. Harris's pass, tenant right side. Intended there for Willis and a good job by Jalen Thomas to knock that one loose. Harris at the half court circle. Dribbles over to the right side. Duncan on defense. Harris driving into the paint. Trying to kick it off to Lopez and Sams comes up with the pass. Sams. Euro step, basket good. 29-23. Trinity Harris. Running the offense again. This time she gets it into Blade. Blade kicks it out to Lopez. Lopez over to Willis. 
Willis going to pull up. That one's going to be off the backboard. No good. Rebound pulled down by Thornton. Thornton now brings it up top over to Lopez. Lopez to Harris. Trinity Harris buries one from three from the point. 29-26. Five and a half to go. Duncan. Right side over to Thomas. Thomas trying to get inside to Sanders. Loses a handle on it, but they're going to say last touch by Lopez. And it'll go out of bounds. Sanders is going to check out of the game. Cameron Pierron is going to come in for the Blue Angels. And then back in, Sherelle Sher Newsom. And Jaya Hedgepeth with the quick bucket there. 31-26. Three-point attempt from the top of the key. Dalen Thornton, no good. Pierron with the rebound to Duncan. Duncan sees an opening down the left side of the lane, loses a handle on it. Lopez comes up with it. Lopez to Thornton. Thornton kicks it out right side over to Newsom. Newsom for three, no good. Long rebound, and Duncan comes back with it. Duncan bringing it up, has Pierron there with her. Her shot up is short. Gets her own rebound and goes back up, and they're going to get a foul on Guadalupe Lopez. And we're going to have another timeout. Blue Angels leading 31 to 26. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back. back from the media timeout. Kyra Duncan will be at the free throw line. Shooting two. The foul goes against Guadalupe Lopez. Substitutions coming into the game for Vincennes, number 13, Candela Lascores, a six-foot freshman from Huesca, Spain. Checks into the game. And Duncan sinks them both, 33-26. This is Johnson, tough defense there, going against Thornton. Now right side over the last course. Now down to Newsom, back up top to Thornton. Now passes it back out top to Willis. Willis down the last course, trying to get it inside to Blade. And another steal by the Blue Angels. Hedgeman with the steal. Now back up top to Duncan. Duncan weaving into traffic, up off the glass, no good, but she draws the foul again on Vincennes. And that one's going to go against Dalen Thornton. Checking in now, Aneta Bluma, six foot sophomore from Saldas, Latvia. Vincennes has Three ladies from Spain and one from Latvia on their roster. Kyra Duncan at the free throw line, puts that one up and in. And that one's a little too strong, but good rebound there by Jalen Thomas, but her put back too strong, and here comes the Lady Trailblazers. Newsom with it at the point. Newsom now left side over to Thornton. 
Thornton looking inside, trying to get it into Bluma. And that pass is too high and out of her reach. Tyra Duncan, left side over to Jaya, head spin. Now to Pierron on the right wing, trying to go down underneath to Johnson, and Johnson passes out of her reach and another turnover. Eight point lead for the Blue Angels here, their largest of the game. Newsom dribbles over right side to Willis. Willis looking for the screen back down to Newsom. Newsom going to drive right baseline. Gets it inside to Thornton. Thornton shot up short, no good, and a rebound there by Duncan. Duncan left side over to Hedspin. Hedspin pump fake, drives in. Oh, and she puts that one up too short. Bluma with the rebound, quick outlet. They get it all the way down to Willis, and Willis puts it up off the glass, 4-2. Carissa Johnson brings it across half court. Left side down to Edgbeth, now to Pierron. Right side over to Duncan. Back to Pierron, uh, bounce pass intercepted there by Thornton, and Thornton's gonna take it down the lane and lay it up off the glass for an easy two. Just like that, Vincennes back to within four. Edgbeth, left side, 4-3, that one's short off the front of the iron. Rebound comes out to Newsom. Newsom quick outlet to Willis. Willis puts it up off the glass. And they pulled within two. 2.15 to go here in the second quarter. Hedgebith, left side over to Duncan. Duncan back up top to Harris. Pierron for three. Bounces off the front of the iron, no good. Follows a rebound, gets it in the lane. Strong move back to the basket. She goes up and she's fouled. Cameron Pierron, she'll go to the lane to shoot two. Substitutions into the game. Coming in number 31, Nakaya Harston. We'll check in. She's going to take the place of Jaya Hedgemith. And Cameron Pierron makes the first one. And she makes them both. Substitutions into the game. Naya Ford checking back in and Megan Crunk, 5'6 sophomore from Highland, Illinois, making her first appearance in tonight's game. 36 32. Bluma brings it across half court. Now she'll hand it off over to Newsom. Newsom right side over to Willis. Willis going to drive in, dump pass underneath to Bluma. She loses a handle on it and tipped around on the rebound and it goes out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by KC. Inbounds pass to Bluma on the right side. She's trying to get it inside. Ball was tipped, but Willis gets it. Quick outlet pass over to Newsom. Bluma with the rebound after the shot and we're going to have an offensive charge against Vincennes, and that's going to go against Shanice Willis. Her first personal foul. Naya Ford. Right side now over to Kronk. Kronk back over to Ford. Inside to Harston. Harston now out to Johnson. Back down to Kronk. Kronk for three. That one's off the iron. No good. Willis with the weak side rebound. Willis bringing it up. Down the right side. Crossover dribble. Cuts into the lane. Now kicks it back up. Bluma. Top of the key for three. Rolls around the rim. No good. And Duncan with the rebound. Duncan to Ford. She'll bring it out. Under a minute to go in the second quarter. Johnson with it. Driving into the paint. Little floater off the glass. Good for two. 38-32. Thornton driving down left lane, floater. 
No good, and a whistle, and a charge is a nice job there by Nakia. Nakia Harston. And that's going to go against Daylin Thornton. That's going to be her third personal. Trinity Harris going to come into the game for her. And Tyra Davis checking into the game for the Blue Angels. Making Nakia Heast Harston's position. Johnson over to Davis. Davis to Kronk. Kronk right side for three. That's short off the front of the iron. LaCorza outlet pass to Newsom. Newsom shot up. No good. Battle in there for the rebound. Johnson gets it. Johnson outlet pass to Duncan. She can't handle it. Vincennes comes back with it underneath the basket. And now it's taken away again. Now a quick outlet pass to Nia Ford trying to get it off before the buzzer. And they say she did, but the basket doesn't count. We are at halftime. Blue Angels leading 38-32 over the Lady Trailblazers. We'll be back for Boy, second half action. The nation's economy and society. In addition to providing the most flexible, accessible, and affordable option in higher education, community colleges are the smart option for students to make their career dreams a reality. If you look nationwide, the majority of the students who have the opportunity in the United States to go to college, two-thirds of them start off at a community college. The affordability, the accessibility, community colleges really are one of the only opportunities for several areas throughout the United States. A lot of individuals don't have that potential to go to a four-year university right out of high school. Either they don't have the finances, they don't have the transportation, or they just don't have the support at home, whereas community colleges can fill that void. I think our community college system here in Illinois is a cornerstone of our higher education. It provides a career path for young folks and adults that are looking to set themselves in a position in life where they can move forward, provide for a family, and, and have a successful career. But it also provides someone a stepping stone into higher education, into a four-year university. And so there's flexibility at the community college level that you don't see everywhere else. Established in 1940, and located in South Central Illinois, Kaskaskia College is a world-class institution of higher education. KC provides a supportive and transformative environment that prepares graduates to meet the critical needs of its region's workforce or seamless transition to a four-year university. Everybody's someone at KC, and we, and we follow through with that every day. You see it from the relationship we have from our staff and our faculty internally amongst each other. We really are a family here. One of the major things that we feel is very attractive to the institution is that personal touch. You're not just a number. We're going to know your name when you walk up and down the hallways. We have an individual that's assigned to you from the time you start to the time you finish. Most of the time it's one of your faculty members. Very few programs do, that we have here have more than one or two faculty members. So they're going to know you from day one to the time that you get that diploma on stage. So that, it's that personal touch that we take pride in, also the affordability, but, but also our completion rates. 85% of our students who enroll in a two-year degree will complete on time. And you, you add that into their career plans and the affordability option, it's a no-brainer. It's the smart decision. With more than 100 degree and certificate options, Kaskaskia College can set you on the path for a great future. KC's programs offer you the focused attention and hands-on training you want, along with state-of-the-art resources and career-building opportunities needed to meet the demands of this rapidly changing world. Being from a small town in rural southern Illinois, I was really looking for a needle in a haystack, and I was able to find that needle here at Kaskaskia College. Taking full advantage of the networking that Kaskaskia did with other universities, I was able to take advantage of the two plus two equals a bachelor's degree. So when I graduated my associates in applied sciences and concentration in radiologic technology here at Kaskaskia, I was able to go into Washington University School of Medicine and Allied Health for a concentration in radiation therapy in my bachelor's degree. I would further advance my clinical track in stereotactic radiosurgery under the supervision of a physician, and then later on go into my master's in business administration at Edwardsville, Illinois, Southern Illinois University. I would recommend Kaskaskia College because it is high quality education at a great value. Where else can you go where you've got faculty and administrators that truly care? The students aren't another number. They're actually humans that they're mentoring for the workforce or for the next level of their academic journey. 
The value of a community college education cannot be overstated, and because a Kaskaskia college education is a fraction of the cost of most four-year higher education institutions, KC graduates receive a lifetime of learning, not a lifetime of debt. What drew me to Kaskaskia was the location was very important. The small class sizes and the sense of family was very important for me. And I do know in my meetings with the faculty, especially the admissions counselors, they were extremely helpful. I got the sense that they truly wanted what was best for me. Having been here for a year, I do feel that the family, the sense of family that you get at Kaskaskia College is something that cannot be overlooked because I don't feel that you would get that at a larger university. Kaskaskia College has been perfect in the logical sequence of steps from high school to your end goal of a career. Kaskaskia College and area employers work together to ensure the skills students are learning are the skills they need to succeed in the workplace. Today's employers are looking for determined, career-minded employees with the ability to hit the ground running with real-world skills. Uh, Kaskaskia College itself is the best in, in the state as far as I'm concerned. It truly is. If you look at the articulation agreements they've arranged with other universities, if you look at the things that they've done uh, in terms of retention, affordability, and success of, of graduates, uh, Kaskaskia College has done a phenomenal job and I think it's a flagship for our community college system here in Illinois. As a Kaskaskia College graduate, I, I think that every student in our district and beyond should take the opportunity to at least come and visit us. Because Kaskaskia College, everyone is someone. We believe that from the relationships we have with our staff and faculty, but also relationships our staff and faculty have with our students. We are very, very integrated into the community and we care. We care about our community members and our students. We're going to be part of your life from the first day you walk in the, in the door to the day we hand you the diploma and also when you come back in as alumni. Is we take a large amount of pride in who we are. One of our models is everyone is someone and we live by that. For more information or to schedule a visit, visit kaskaskia.edu or call 800-642-0859.
And welcome back to Kaskaskia College. Second half action here between the Blue Angels and the Lady Trailblazers of Vincennes. Blue Angels leading 38 to 32 at halftime. They're trying to snap a three game losing streak. They just played, uh, they've lost their last three, losing to Shawnee Community College 92 45 to John A. Logan 82 67, and then uh, also to Vincennes earlier 101 to 70. So a little bit off the pace to hit that record there, to hit them scores from the last time these two teams played. But we are here to start it off with the second half. Nia Ford with it over on the left wing, 4-3. That one's short off the iron. Hedgepith with the rebound. Hedgepith got room, goes back up, and that one's blocked from behind by Michaels and tipped out of bounds, and it's going to stay down on the far end to my right with the Lady Blue Angels. It is Ford, Hedgepith. Out there to start, and quick put back by Nakia Harston is up and no good. Vincennes with the basketball. Right side over to Grant. Grant now over to uh, Thornton. Thornton around the screen, dribbles to the top. Looks to Newsom on the right wing. Pull, picks up her dribble, now goes to Newsom over on the right wing. Newsom dribbles around the screen by Blade. And the lob pass inside and it's gonna be tied up there. Between Nina Blade and Carissa Johnson, both sporting number 11 on their jerseys. And it'll stay on uh, this end here to my left with the Lady Trailblazers. Inbound pass up top to Thornton. Thornton before the buzzer on the shot clock. Battles off the front of the rim and it goes out of bounds and we're gonna say they're gonna keep it with the Lady Trailblazers. The rebound was last touched by the Blue Angels. Newsom guarded there by Duncan. Duncan led all scorers in the first half with 13 points. Now right side to Thornton. Brings it up to the top. Now off to Grant. Grant can dribble down into the left baseline. Out to Newsom, and Newsom tries to get one off before the buzzer. Shot clock, and no good. So. Kyra Duncan brings it inside to Johnson, Johnson, trying to get it under to Harston, and Harston can't handle the pass, but saves it from going out of bounds and throws it right back into Michaels of Vincennes. Newsom dribbles over to the right side, now to Grant. Grant, left elbow, pull up jumper, no good, and in position to get the rebound is Harston. Quick outlet pass to Hedgepiff, Hedgepiff over to Johnson, Johnson driving. Up off the glass, no good. Hedgepith comes in, battling for the rebound, and knocks it loose. And it goes out of bounds. Vincent's basketball. Looking for our first bucket here in the third quarter. Almost two minutes gone by, and no score, nobody scored here. 38-32, still same score as halftime. Harston dribbles into the paint, kicks it back out over to Grant. Now back over to Harston. Harston's going to pop one for three. From the right side up, no good. Hedgepith with the rebound. Hedgepith gets it over to Kyra Duncan. Duncan to Nia Ford. Ford bounce pass underneath to Harston. Harston back out to Ford. Now to Duncan. Duncan going to drive into the paint, gets it up over Michaels. That one's off the back of the iron, no good. Michaels comes down with the rebound. Quick outlet pass over to Newsom. Newsom hitting Grant coming down the lane. Her shot up, no good. And Harston with the rebound. Harston to Duncan. Duncan. Left side to Ford. Ford inside to Hedgepith. Underneath to Duncan over to Harston. Her shot up, partially blocked. Loose ball on the floor. And we're going to have a whistle and a jump ball there as Hedgepith and Michaels and Blade had that one all tied up. Substitution in the game for the Blue Angels. Destiny Sanders. Checking back into the game. She had a good first half, eight points. Four in the first quarter, four in the second quarter. 
Inbounds pass. Bounce pass inside to Sanders. Sanders kicks it back up top to Johnson. Johnson puts one up. Foot on the line for two. Short off the rebound and off the iron and goes out of bounds. Just under seven to go here in quarter number three. Still nobody made a bucket here in the third quarter. Newsom over to Thornton. Thornton driving into the paint, got around Johnson. Her layup up, no good. Sanders there with the rebound. Gets it out to Johnson. Johnson, left side over to Ford. Ford, back over to Johnson on the right side. Johnson, spin move, kicks it back up to Hedgepeth. Hedgepeth, pump, pump fake, down on the baseline to Ford. And over to Duncan. Duncan back up top to Ford. Ford's going to pop one for three. That's an air ball. Still looking for our first bucket in the third quarter. Layla Grant going to bring it up across half court. Grant. Newsom and now. And now we're going to have a whistle away from the foul, an offensive foul against Nina Blade. going to be her first, team first, and now sub coming into the game, Cassandra Sands checking back in for the Blue Angels. She'll take the place of Carissa Johnson. Duncan brings it across half court. Duncan left side over to Ford. Now up to Sands. Sam's going to drive into the paint. Shot up, no good. Battle for the rebound, loose. Sanders gets it, and Sanders puts it back up and in. And Destiny Sanders will get the first basket of the third quarter. Almost four and a half minutes gone by, and we finally get a bucket. And now we got a foul on the other end. Naya Ford's going to pick up her first personal foul. Eight-point lead for the Blue Angels. Newsom gets it inbounds to Blade. Blade goes quickly up. Sanders is there on defense. And they're going to get her on the foul. That'll be her first. Nina Blade at the free throw line. And that one's up and in. Substitution going to come into the game here shortly. Blade makes his free throw. Shanice Willis will check in for Daylin Thornton. Full court pressure by the Lady Trailblazers. Casey gets it up, Hedgepeth takes it down the lane, and the layup is good. That old uh, Jaya Hedgepeth, 42-34. Newsom with it at the point. Left side to Grant, Grant at the point now, back down to Newsom. Newsom gonna fire for three from the baseline, and she makes it. 42-37. And now, inbound pass goes off the back of the backboard. And it's going to give it right back to Vincennes underneath their own basket. Grant takes the inbound pass. Now over to Blade. Blade out to Newsom. Newsom for three again. That one's too strong. And Cassandra Sams pulls down the rebound. Sams gets it up to Duncan. Duncan dribbles down the left side. Pull up. That one's too strong off the iron, and Michaels comes down with the rebound for Vincennes. Out to Willis. Willis up to, to Newsom. Newsom for three. Another one too strong, and it's going to go off the top of the backboard, and it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be KC basketball. 42-37 is the score. We're going to take a timeout. It's immediate timeout. We'll be back right after this quick message.
And the Blue Angels will inbound it here to my left, length of the court to go. And they finally get it in, and oh, they throw it away. Duncan can't come up with it, Grant with it. Now over to Trinity Harris, who just checked in during that timeout. For Vincennes, Harris back out to Grant. Grant down to Willis, Willis can't get the roll, and coming down with it is Hedgepith. Hedgepith over to Nia Ford. Ford top of the key, right side over to Hedgepith. Now left side to Ford. She's going to take it on the dribble. Over to Duncan. Duncan underneath to Sanders. Sanders strong up off the glass. No good. Battle for the rebound. Loose and Harris comes up with it. Harris kicks it out. Left side trying to get it over to, to Willis. And throws it over her head and out of bounds. Carissa Johnson checking back into the game for the Blue Angels. She'll take the inbounds pass over to Sam. Sam's over to Hedgepith. Hedgepith, count the bucket and the foul. Jaya Hedgepith, nice work there. Execution by the Blue Angels, bringing it up the court. Foul's going to go against Trinity Harris, her first personal. Jaya Hedgepith will go to the free throw line. And that one's too strong off the back of the iron. No good. Willis with the rebound. She'll hand it off to Harris. Harris now over to Willis. Back to Harris at the point. Harris down the lane over to Michaels. A kick out and Michaels makes the easy eight-footer. That's fifth on the dribble at the free throw line. Underneath the Sams, and they're going to call Sams on the travel. Trying to pump fake and shuffle the feet. Forty-four, thirty-nine, three eighteen to go. Harris out to Willis. Now to Grant. Grant going in the lane, trying to spin move, loses her footing and falls down for the travel. Full court pressure still being applied here. And Ford, inbound pass is tipped by Blade, and she picks it up and puts it up and in for an easy two. Now quickly, Johnson takes it down the co court coast to coast, and she draws the foul. That's going to go against Trinity Harris. That'll be her second personal. Blue Angels will inbound underneath their own basket. Inbound pass to Sams. She goes up and has it blocked. Harris taking it into the paint, and she's going to pick up the offensive foul. And just like that, Trinity Harris has... Has three personal fouls. Duncan working against Blade. Duncan dribbles it off her foot. Harris picks it up. Harris over to Grant. Grant underneath the Blade, and they put it up and in. KC having trouble breaking this full court pressure. Duncan takes a second pass, and... Starts to dribble with it, and she is ran into by Layla Grant. That's going to be her first personal. Five team fouls. Kyra Duncan will go to the free line, free throw line to shoot two. And Duncan misses the first. And Duncan makes the second one. Substitution coming in, in the game. Jalen Thomas will come in for Cassandra Sams. Yeah. 
Harris kicks it off to Blade. Blade now up to Grant. Grant at the top of the key, pulls up just inside the free throw line and puts that one in nothing but net. We're tied, 45 all. Duncan trying to get it up underneath to Johnson. Johnson can't handle it, loses the handle of it as she tries to dribble out of some traffic. And we're going to get a timeout by the Blue, Jay Blue Angels. Jay Jenkins wants to take a timeout, a 60-second timeout. We're going to take it with him. We'll be right back. Tied at 45 with 2.04 to go. Blue Angels be on defense. Vincennes trying to go the length of the court. Full court man to man defensive pressure. Harris brings it across, working against Johnson. Now hands it off to Grant. Grant has her pocket picked by Nia Ford. Ford going to take it down the left court. She loses the handle on it, but comes back, gets it. Now we have a whistle and a jump ball. And that jump ball will go to the Lady Trailblazers. Grant will bring it across half court. Dribbles over to the right side. Behind the back dribble, now dribbles back over to the right. Over to Willis. Willis at the free throw line, back out to Grant. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Willis dribbling down in between traffic. And uh, Kyra Duncan reaches in there and ties it up to get the jump ball called. And the possession arrow will go to the Blue, Blue Angels. Bounce pass inside, in time to Johnson. Johnson now back to Ford. Ford, little spin move, brings it across half court, dribbles over to the left side. Still on the dribble, around the screen, kicks it back out up top. Right side in the head spiff. And they're gonna get head spiff on the offensive charge. That'll be Jaya Hitzbitt's first personal foul. Harris brings it across half court. Hands it off to, to Grant. 53 seconds to go. Grant trying to get underneath the blade. Blade takes it in transition, in the traffic, gets a shot off, and she's going to go to the line to shoot two. Carissa Johnson picks up the personal foul. Her first. And Nina Blade makes the first one. And the second one. Substitution coming in, Sherelle Newsom. Vincennes takes the first lead in quite a while. And now Vincennes is going to take a timeout. Harry Meeks wants 
take a quick timeout. They're going to take a 60 second break, so we're going to take one with them. Forty-seven point nine seconds to go here in the third quarter. Blue Angels with the basketball, having some troubles with the inbounds, with the full court pressure. But time to get it in. Nia Ford working against Blade. Ford down the lane, kicks it out right side over to Thomas. Thomas to Duncan, and Duncan going to call her for the travel on the cut. Harris brings it across half court. <laughs> Hands off. To Willis and Willis drives in the lane. Little jump shot good for two. 49-45. Blue Angels down by four now. Ford with it at the point. 11 seconds. 10. Ford in the lane. Layup. Oh, and she misses it. But there. Gets it back, Ford right side jumper. That one short, and there's the buzzer. Three quarters in the books. Blue Angels trailing Start second half action here, or third, fourth quarter action. It'll be Vincent's basketball. Kendall Lacours, last course, checked into the game in between periods there. Willis takes it down the right side of the lane, and there to greet her was Nakaya Harston. Offensive charge against Willis. Harson's going to come out as she went down pretty hard there. Shania Nunn checking back into the game. Ford looking for the inbound, inbounds pass. And the pass over there battled between Lascours and Duncan. They're going to say it goes out of bounds off of last course, so Casey will keep it. Nia Ford, bounce pass in 
to Johnson. Johnson back to Ford, up to Duncan. And Duncan has it knocked out of her hands there by Trinity Harris. Inbounds pass to Duncan. Quickly takes it in the lane and gets a shot off and draws a foul. That's going to go against Kendella Lascours. And Duncan misses the first after going three for four from the line in the first half. She's struggling here. She makes that one. 49-46. Lascours brings it across half court. Now over to Harris. Harris on the dribble. Drives into the lane. Shot up. No good. And none with the rebound. Ford with it. Right side to Duncan. Duncan into traffic. Up over top of Michaels and gets it off the glass to fall in. 49, 40, 48. Harris working it up against Johnson. Harris now left side over to Newsom. Newsom little floater in the lane. That one won't fall. And a rebound picked up there by Jalen Thomas. And now they're going to say it went out of bounds off of Vincent's. And again. Nia Ford trying to get the inbounds pass in and throws it off the back of the backboard, so it gives it right back to Vincent's. Inbounds pass to Newsom for three. Sorry, Willis for three, and that one's no good. Quick outlet. Duncan takes it high off the glass. That one's no good. Weak side rebound picked up by Vincennes. A underneath pass. Duncan comes in, takes it away, and gets a shot off and a foul. Kyra Duncan. Foul's going to go against Macy Michaels. Duncan back to the free throw line. And that one goes. 49. 49. And Duncan sinks the second one. So Blue Angels back on top by one. Substitution in the game. Daylon Thornton checking into the game. To Trinity Harris, inbounds pass to Willis. Willis splits the defenders, brings it up. Willis down the lane, dumps it underneath to Michaels. Michaels up off the glass, good for two. Nice job there by Willis. A little dish to Michaels at the last minute. Johnson brings it across half court. Now up top to Duncan. Duncan left side, Nia Ford for three, count it! A deep three by Nia Ford. That'll help make up for the couple bad inlet passes she's had. Thornton dribbles down the right side. Now back up top to Newsom. Newsom going to fire from a long three. Got it. 54-53. Duncan inbound pass to Ford. Ford right back to Duncan. She's got some room. Bounce pass underneath, trying to get it out over underneath to Nunn. Nunn can't get it. Loose rebound, shot up, Nunn again. Battle inside, and now Kyra Duncan's going to get called for the foul. It'll be Duncan's first personal. Jaya Hedgepeth checking back into the game for the Blue Angels. Taking the place of Carissa Johnson. 54-53. LaCours. Now back up top to Newsom. 
Newsom dribbles around the screen. Kicks it out left side to Thornton. Thornton into the lane. Shot up. Blocked there by Hedgeth. Hedgeth to Ford. Ford in traffic. Pulls up. And they're going to call the foul. She tried to pull up and drew the foul. And that's going to go against Shanice Willis. And Ford's shot it up, no good. Ford with 80% free throw shooter on the season. And she misses them both. Rebound pulled down there by LaCour, Lascours. Thornton driving into the lane, floater, count the bucket and the foul. Daylin Thornton. Foul is going to go against Shania Nunn. That'll be her third personal substitution into the game. Nina Blade checks back in for Lascours. And Thornton. Makes it. And we're going to give him a media timeout. So we're going to take another break with him. 57 53. Vincent's on top. Come back from the media timeout. Blue Angels with the basketball. Once again, length of the court to go. Nia Ford working against Blade there in the inbounds pass. Bob pass inbounds and trying to get it. Kyra Duncan. Bounds pass right here in front of us to Duncan back to Ford. Ford dribbles all the way through the lane. Now back up top to Duncan. Duncan for three. That one's too strong. Johnson in there for the rebound, but has it ripped away there by Grant. 57 53. Ford and Grant battling Ford as Ford trying to get the steal there and a jump ball going to be called. Possession arrow will favor the Blue Angels. Duncan with it, right side over to Johnson. Up top to Ford. Ford in the hedge pit at the free throw line. Back out over to Johnson. Johnson for three, count it. Good ball movement there by the Blue Angels. Carissa Johnson buries the three, pulls them within one. Thornton driving right side, little floater up, no good. Hetspeth with the rebound in traffic, but gets it out now over to Johnson. Johnson bringing it down. They got a four on three. Now to four. They let everybody catch back up to Hetspeth. Hetspeth top of the key. That one's too strong. Long rebound, loose. Duncan picks it up, layup, no good, in and out. And here come the Lady Trailblazers. 
Thornton going to go coast to coast, splits the defenders and lays it up and off off the glass. Inbounds pass now to Johnson, and she has her pocket picked from behind by Newsom. Newsom gets it into Blade. Blade back up top to Grant. Grant for three. In and out, no good. Nia Ford comes down with the rebound. Ford on the dribble. She'll bring it across half court. Left side now over to Johnson. And Blue Angels are going to take a timeout. Another 60-second timeout. They're down by three. We'll be right back. Five ten to go in the ball game. 59-56. Blue Angels trailing. They will inbound the ball on the far sideline. Ford's inbound pass to Johnson. Johnson at the point. Loses the handle on a loose ball, but Shania Nunn there to tip it back over to Nia Ford. Ford for three, top of the key, off the backboard, no good. Loose ball, rebound, Hedgepeth with the rebound and the putback. 59-58. Now we're gonna have a whistle and a foul as Thornton. That's gonna go against Carissa Johnson. Vincennes will inbound across from us. Inbounds pass to Grant. Grant underneath to Newsom. Newsom dribbling into traffic. Back to the top of the key to Grant from the right elbow. She buries it. 61-58. Duncan. Bring it up. Going to take it down to right side. Floater off the glass. Good for two. Kyra Duncan. 61-60. Newsom's pass for Thornton almost taken away there by Hedgepeth. No inbound it again. Newsom now at the half court circle working against Duncan. Going around the screen, dribbles down to the left wing, gonna drop back for two. That one's up, no good. The rebound by Blade, the put back, good. And a foul. And the foul's gonna go against Kyra Duncan. That'll be her second personal, 14 foul. And Blade makes a free throw. Substitution into the game. Kyra Duncan gonna come out. Megan Crunk, 5'6 sophomore from Highland, gonna check in. Johnson, right side out to Crunk. Crunk, that one's short. Hedgepeth with the re, or sorry, none with the rebound. Out to Hedgepeth. Now up to Nia Ford. Ford dribbles down the left side, kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson for three, that one's short. And Newsom with the rebound. Newsom outlet pass to Grant. She can't get to it. Johnson runs it down for the Blue Angels. 
Down to Nia Ford, right baseline, underneath to Nunn. Nunn puts the shot up, no good. It's ball loose, and now Michaels comes up with it. Michaels, outlet to Newsom. Newsom takes it down the court, puts it up and in for two. 66-60, now a, four po a six point lead. Johnson trying to take it coast to coast, loses a handle on it. Thornton with it. Thornton hesitates underneath, dump pass over to Blade. She misses the rebound. Johnson comes back with it. Johnson kicks it out right side. 4 2 from Hedgepeth. Down by four, just under three to go. Newsom will bring it across half court. Kicks it out right side. Thornton for three. That one's good. 69 62. And another timeout by the Blue Angels. 60 second timeout. We're going to take it with them again. We'll be right back. See Wood Mountain length of the court to go. Destiny Sanders and Kyra Duncan both checked back in during the timeout. Megan Kronk for three from the right side. Count it. 69-65. They pulled it within four. Just over two to go in the ball game. Grant dribbles down left baseline into traffic, forces the shot up in traffic and got it to fall. Johnson brings it across half court. Johnson dribbles down to the baseline, and they call her for the travel. Substitutions into the game. Jaya Hedgeth checks back in for Jalen. Sorry, for Carissa Johnson. And now number, I believe, Shanice Walt Willis checks in. in. And they're going to take another timeout, 30-second timeout. We're going to just keep it here, though, for this one. We haven't mentioned any of our corporate sponsors for the Kaskaskia College Sports Association. Farmer State Bank of Hoffman, three locations to serve you, Hoffman, Hoylton, and Central City. Donawalt's Distributing, Greenville, Illinois, quality service since 1965. Prairie Creek Apartments, affordable student housing. Check their website out, www.prairie-creek-apartments.com. So those are some of our corporate sponsors. I'll remind you after, after this one, we got a, the Blue Devils and the Vincennes Trailblazers taking each other on. Double header here. Inbound pass. Blue Angels down by six. Willis to Michaels. Michaels left side, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hedgepith. Hedgepith going to bring it up the court. Gets it across half court. Looking for some help. Now gets it up top to Kronk. Kronk right side to Duncan. Duncan for three. That one's too long. And goes out of bounds. Coach Jenkins not too pleased with that shot selection. Let's go, let's go. 
Thornton slowly brings it up across half court. Working against Hedgebeth. Now over to Kronk. Thornton puts his shot up. No good. And now we're going to have a whistle underneath. Foul's going to go against Hedgebeth. Substitution, Carissa Johnson checking in for Megan Crunk. Cameron Piron also coming in. Or Destiny Sanders. Thornton. Makes the first one. She makes them both. So an eight point lead now for Vincennes. Bounce pass in to Duncan. Duncan brings it across half court. Left side over to Ford. Ford back over to Duncan now right side. Pierron for three, no good, but Ford there for the rebound. Under a minute to go to Hedgepeth. Now to Ford. Back over to Cameron Pierron. Pierron up to Hedgepeth to Ford. To Pierron, now to Johnson. Johnson in the lane, pull up for two, good. 73-67, 34 seconds to go. Got a foul, got to get a turnover. Thornton with it, and a timeout. Called by Vincennes with 27 seconds to go. So, okay, this will be the last timeout for Vincennes. A 30 second timeout. We'll just keep it right here. Sherelle Newsom will check back in. So, API Survey LLC, Land Surveying and Civil Engineering, located in Nashville. Munkin, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, GMC, Chevrolet, Buick, Toyota, and Nissan. Serving the area since 1967, now serving three locations in Centralia and Mount Vernon. State Farm Insurance Agent Jack Graham, located at 426 Broadway, West Broadway in Centralia. So those are some of our Kaskaskia College corporate sports sponsors. Inbounds pass by Vincennes. Over to Thornton. Thornton. Out to Newsom, and Newsom buries a three, and that's going to be the dagger, folks. 76 67. Johnson for three. No good. Rebound by Blade. Out to Grant. Grant, left side to Newsom. Newsom with it, and a late foul by Hedgepith with 1.3 seconds to go. Jaya Hedgeth will pick up her third. Kind of a useless foul there. Inbounds, or free throw up by Newsom is good. Gives him a 10 point lead, trying to make an 11. And she does. So your final score is going to be 78-67. Vincennes over the Blue Angels. So the Blue Angels suffer their fourth straight loss, their second of the four to Vincennes. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll be back with Blue Devil basketball right here from Kaskaskia College.